JJ and Mikey's families have turned into elementals. So we have to build them new homes. Who will win, fire or ice? Look at this, Louis. We're elementals. Whoa, Pip, did you just shoot a massive ice cloud at me? That's insane. Yep, Louis. I have ice powers now. That means I'm way better than you. Oh, no, you're not, Pip. Look at the powers that I have. I have this huge sword right here and this really nice armor. This is called the incinerator. And look at the damage it can do. What does that do? Whoa! No! See, it's just like having fire powers, and it's really Whoa. strong. Louis, all I have is this. What? That's so tiny and cute. It's like a water pistol. Go ahead, shoot it. Wait, oh, what's going on? What's going on? Louis! Oh, oh, wait, Pip, I think I have more than just fire weapons. I think I have fire powers too. I can shoot massive that? beams from the sky. Whoa, Louis. I think you're a little too strong, but the powers don't matter that much. What matters is the houses that we're going to build for JJ and Mikey's family. Exactly, Pip. I was having so much fun with my new powers that I almost forgot. Take this, Mikey's family! <laughs> don't hurt Mikey's family, Louie. All right, Pip. Fine, I won't. But we have these massive building plots, and we have to build some amazing new houses for these elemental versions of JJ and Mikey. Mikey's families. Well, I'm gonna build a massive ice house, Louie. What are you gonna build? Well, Pip, I'm going to build a huge house that looks like it just came fresh out of the nether. It's going to be for fire elementals only, so stay out. Oh, Louie, you aren't allowed in my house either. All right, Pip, let's see how long that lasts. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get a ton of nether-themed blocks, like nether bricks, nether rack, and what else? I'm thinking these really cool oak doors. That will do. And I'll also get these netherrack slabs. Let's start building the outline of my base. First of all, I'm going to start on the ground. This is where the foundation is going to be. Oh, and Pip, did I forget that in about 20 minutes when the sun goes down, some scary mobs are going to come out of that skull over there and try and kill JJ and Mikey's family. How did that skeleton get here? Well, Pip, I was exploring in a dungeon one day and and I may or may not have killed a mutant skeleton, and now he wants revenge. Oh, Louie, you're always making problems. Oh, uh, I know I am, Pip. I'm really sorry. But the thing is, even if I really made that mutant skeleton mad, we can still make really strong and secure bases to keep them out. Okay, Pip? Does that make sense? I guess so, Louie. Whatever you say. All right. I'm just going to keep clearing out this ground here because I'm going to have to make sure this foundation is super strong. And the strongest block that I could think of that also looks like fire is these magma bricks. Don't they look so strong, guys? Comment down below. Wait, magma block bricks? Those are terrible, Louie. I'm making my base out of polished packed ice. Polished packed ice? Let me see this thing. Oh huh? my gosh. Pip, if you don't want your base to melt, I would keep it far away from mine, okay? Well, Louie, if you don't want the ice to put your flames out, how about you stay away from my base? Oh, that's actually a good point, Pip. Our bases kind of work against each other and with each other at the same time. As you can see, my fire can put your ice out, but once it turns into water, it'll put my fire out. It's like we cancel each other out. Yeah, Louis, and that's why you should stay clear of my base, unless you want to be destroyed. Oh, yeah, Pip? Well, let's have a challenge, okay? When those mobs come out of that skull and attack us, let's see whose base survives the longest, and let's see whose family can survive the longest as well. You're on, Louis. But I bet JJ's family doesn't want to burn alive in your firehouse. Oh, they're not going to burn alive. They're elementals, don't you know? Mikey has been blessed with the powers of ice. And JJ has been blessed with the powers of fire. Just like me and you. Oh, so that's why they're here. Exactly, Pip. And if you want them to stay safe, you're going to have to make a base that also fits with their theme of ice. And I'm going to have to make the craziest fire-themed base of all time. I'm going to go ahead and use these warped stem blocks. This is like a nether version of wood. It looks amazing, don't you guys think? I'm going to build it across like this, like a little foundation. 
I'm also going to build down in the middles to separate it in the center. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a front door right here and some steps going up in out of Netherrack slabs. This is looking awesome so far. I'm also going to go ahead and build these walls up a little further so I can add a window in which I'm going to add with orange stained glass. Not red this time, guys. I want it to look really cool. I'm going to keep building up these walls. I'm placing so many of these nether bricks. I've placed like a hundred so far. Well, Louie, if you're going to place a hundred pieces of nether brick, I'm going to place 200 pieces of ice. Oh my gosh, Pip. Not everything is a competition, you know. You're kind of crazy sometimes. Yeah, Louie, I'm crazy, just like every duck. Oh, yeah, Pip, I shouldn't have forgotten. You're a wild animal, too. Oh, my gosh. But anyways, guys, as you can see, I've added a front door. I've added some windows, and I think I'm going to add a wall. But wait a second. Pip has already done that. Oh, <laughs> Pip, you're stealing the ideas out of my brain. You know what? I'll just keep building these little foundations on the side, and then maybe some ideas will come to my brain. The more I build, the more elaborate my builds get. So stay tuned, guys. This is going to be awesome once it's complete. I'm going to make sure that my windows are extremely large. This way, I can see all the way around my base 360 degrees. That means all around. It's really difficult to place in these glass panes on other glass panes. They're really small to place blocks on, but I got it done just fine. I think I'm going to place another window on this this back end too. Here we go. This is looking awesome so far. All I need to do is place one more window in and I can start on the inside or maybe the outside of my base. I need to make it look really scary and fiery. There we go. My window is almost complete and done. Now I can start making this place look really nether-like. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, because I'm a little bit lazy, is I'm going to use commands. Don't tell Pip, guys, please. If Pip finds out, I might be disqualified. So what I'm going to do is replace all of the grass blocks with nether blocks. Like netherrack, nether brick, nether gold, and magma blocks. Look at that, guys. Hopefully Pip did not see. Wait, Louie, how did you build all that so quickly? Oh, you should know, Pip. I'm a master builder. You should know that by now. Louie, we just started like five minutes ago. Um, well, Pip, I'm just, uh, not on my break anymore. Yes, I'm actually trying now. Oh, Louie, you're kind of sus, but okay. <sighs> Guys, that was really close. Pip almost found out that I was cheating with commands. You know, I might be a pro and all, but I'm not a hacker. At least sometimes. You know, Louie, I'm looking at your base, and this is definitely not a pro base. If you want to see what a pro base looks like just look at my base what pip if you look at my base and then look at yours it's basically just the same thing made out of ice you're copying me um louis you're the one copying me i don't think so i'm looking at my base and it just looks so much better and less icy and wet what if mikey goes inside she'll get wet toes louis you're copying my base just look my base has doors and your base has doors I... did you steal that idea from me i don't know what you're talking about, Pip. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, Louie, you're always avoiding the question. No, I'm not! Guys, my base is coming along really slowly, but I've got a really good idea. Look at this. If I type into my creative menu, the wand of symmetry, you'll see that I get this little block right here that I can turn around whenever I want. And uh, if Pip is not looking, I can start building with it. And as you can see, when I start building, it also builds the same thing on the other side. This means I can build really fast and make the same builds across my entire plot. This is going to be awesome, guys. Whenever I place a block, it places it on the other side. And when I break it, it also breaks it too. This is going to be amazing for helping me build faster in this build challenge. All I'm going to do is add a little bit more symmetry across this entire base like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing on both sides. And look, it's building so much faster. This is amazing. But now that I've built this, what else do I want? Wait, I've got an idea. I'm going to build a little balcony that comes out. And then I'm going to build it up like this. This way, my house looks more three-dimensional. I'm going to add it in like this. And then add some walls going down the outside to give it some texture. 
just like that. Doesn't this look amazing? This is totally going to survive the mob army. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add a balcony in. So out of these red nether bricks, I'm going to build them across like this. And then I'm going to add some nether brick walls going around the outside. This now looks like a balcony. And this is where I'll be able to walk outside and shoot mobs from the top. With a bow and arrow, of course. Now to make this look awesome, I'm going to go ahead and fill in these walls out of orange stained glass. As you can see, it looks really cool and fire-themed. But I just had a really good idea. What if I get red stained glass and I build it up like this? This way, it's going to look like fire rising up through the windows. I'm really proud of this base so far, guys. What do you think? You know what? I know another nether block that I can use. If you guys know the nether at all, you'll know that netherite blocks are one of the strongest blocks in Minecraft. And what I'm going to do is build a little outline for my door like this. And oh, wait a second. It seems like the Wand of Symmetry has put it on this side as well. Oh, well, let me just get rid of this really quickly. All right, now it's gone. I can quickly fix this wall. I need to be careful not to use the Wand of Symmetry too much, or it might ruin my builds instead of helping me. Wait, Louis, you're talking about symmetry a lot over there. What is symmetry? Um, oh, uh, Pip, well, Symmetry just means, um, that it's the same on both sides. That's all. It's like a circle. A circle is symmetrical. Guys, I think Pip is onto me. Oh, Louis, well, your face is looking sort of symmetrical, if, if that helps. Oh, well, why, thank you, Pip. That's really nice of you to say. Oh, guys, Pip got really close to finding out that I was using this wand of symmetry to make my base faster. Let's just keep it so that Pip doesn't know. What Pip doesn't know? won't hurt them. Anyways, guys, I'm going to build up these walls out of netherite. As you know, it's one of the strongest blocks in Minecraft. It could be even stronger than diamond. What? Netherite? I've never even heard of that. How is it stronger than diamonds? Well, Pip, if you know, it's one of the rarest materials in the whole game. And the reason it's so rare is because it spawns in really small amounts in the underground in the nether, meaning it's really dangerous and hard to find. Whoa. Oh, maybe I should get some netherite. I would recommend against it, Pip. It would go against your ice theme, and Mikey might not even want to stay inside of your base. Oh, you're right, Louie. Of course I am, Pip. I'm always right. All right, guys, there we go. As you can see, I've built up a massive square fiery base. But now it's time to add a roof. So I'm going to get some stairs. Maybe I'll use some red nether stairs and some nether brick stairs. I'll also get these red bricks. I'll also get these orange brick path stairs. This will add some detail to my build. Now all I have to do is go all the way over over here and start building my roof. As you can see, it helps me by building itself on the other side, which makes this building process a lot quicker. I'm going to build up a huge roof out of nether bricks. This way, if I ever need to hide JJ's family, I can just put them all in the attic. And to finish off my roof, I'm going to finish it off by putting some netherite there. Beautiful! Now let's just build the framing for this roof all the way across. I'll do the same thing on the other side with the bricks. This roof is going to be a big triangle roof. Do you guys know how to build a roof in Minecraft? Like the video if you do. Now all I have to do is fill in these center gaps with my netherite blocks. And there we go. Now it's just time to fill in the stairs with all of the nether blocks I want. This will make my roof look awesome, guys. I think I'll use these nether bricks. Let's just build them across. It's very difficult to build with stairs because they have a really small hitbox, which means they're really hard to click on when you're building. Louis, I'm working on my roof in my second floor right now, and it looks so beautiful. Yours looks kind of ugly with all the fire stuff on it. Oh, what are you talking about? I'm looking at your base, and it just looks so detailless and bland. It doesn't even have any different types of blocks. Mine is made out of about 50 different blocks from the nether, while yours is made out of, like, the same ice block every single time. Louis, there's only so many ice blocks in Minecraft, but look, I also have yellow wool. Yellow wool, schmellow, schmull. Yellow wool is the worst! 
course, it's pea colored, you know, while I'm building mine out of red materials because red is the best color. Well, Louis, if there's actually something really cool I can do with pea, how about next time you go pee, I freeze your pee? What? Ew, Pip, are you trying to make pee popsicles? If you are, that's really weird. What's so weird about pee popsicles? Uh, well, I'll tell you what's weird about pee popsicles. You can't eat them! I eat them all the time. What? Oh, no. Oh, guys, I think I need to leave. I think I need to leave right now. Here, come try one. Come try no, one. No, don't make me try one! Oh, guys, Pip is so weird. At least I managed to escape into my base. But speaking of the inside, I need to start building the inside of my base. This way, I can hide JJ's family inside from all of the mobs. Let me go ahead and just fill in some gaps here. I'm going to use the Wand of Symmetry to be able to build the rooms in my house. As you can see, I've just made a really cool hallway. What I'm going to go ahead and do is build this up by four blocks out of the same red nether bricks. Now, I'm going to break a massive hole in the wall like an archway like this. This way, I can have my entrance. You walk through and this can be the TV room. This could be the food room or the hallway to the stairs. And this could be the kitchen. I've got so many ideas, guys. But I'm going to start off small. And I'm going to start with the living quarters. Or the living area. This is where JJ is going to be enjoying the TV. So I'm going to build the floor out of netherrack like this. And I'm going to get some maybe orange sofas. As you can see, I could place them in a circle like this and make a little armchair. This way, JJ can sit and chill while watching TV. And speaking of TVs, I need to place one down right now. So I'm going to put down a flat screen TV on this wall right here. And I'm going to turn it on. Doesn't that look amazing? But I'm going to want to make sure that the upstairs is a separate floor. And I also want to make sure that no one falls onto the sofa or into the living room or onto the TV. That might do a lot of damage. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is fill in this upstairs section like this to make the floor for the second floor. There we go. As you can see, I now have a floor and a roof. And then I have my sofa with my TV. But speaking of TVs, no TV is complete without a nice TV table. And there I could put a flower pot. This kind of looks like a cup of coffee or hot chocolate. Guys, I love hot chocolate. What is your favorite hot drink? Louis, mine is pee. Ew! Oh, Pip, please just stop talking. All right, guys. Pip is being really weird. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my flower pots, actually. I'm going to put a poppy inside one of them because it is a red flower and it looks really cute. I think JJ is going to love this room. Hmm, but now that I'm in here, this room is starting to look a little bit empty. So what I'm going to do is split the room up by splitting these windows in half. And now what I'm going to do is add a few seats across the edge like this. This is where we can sit down and enjoy a nice beverage. Maybe some tea or some coffee or a donut or uh, some sugar. It's going to be really cool. And because we're going to be eating our lunches there, I'm going to put some plates right there we can eat off of. But anyways, guys, I'm going to fill in these gaps here with some red water wool because I know that JJ absolutely loves red wool. Maybe I should move them in here right now so they can appreciate their new home. But before I do that, I need to make sure they have a nice carpet that they can walk through the room onto. So I'm going to make a nice little carpet like this. I'm going to add a really cool white and red pattern going all the way down the main room. And there we go. Now we have that. Let's go and introduce JJ's family to the inside. I think they're going to love it. Come on, JJ, let's go inside. And there we go. Look at this, guys. JJ's mom is sat there eating off of this empty plate. I'm sorry, I'll make you a kitchen soon. And so is JJ's little brother. He's starving. But JJ seems to be having the time of his life. He's watching TV right now. He seems to enjoy that show. But now I'm thinking about JJ's mom and the brother. They're both starving, guys. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> JJ's family is starving. What? Oh, Pip, I do not think you can say that to me. Look at your base. You don't even have a kitchen. I'm working on it right now, Louie. 
But in the meantime, Mikey's family can chew on ice cubes. That's what I do. I don't know about you, Pip, but Mikey's family seems to be keeping their distance from your house, which could mean they don't even like it. And I hope you didn't start feeding them frozen pea cubes. That would be terrible. Of course I'll feed them frozen pea cubes, but they're just oh. chilling on the ice cubes right now. I'll move oh. them in in a bit. All right, Pip. Well, while you work on that, I'm going to start working on a kitchen of my own. And I just realized that my fence is slightly off. Let's just fix that. There we go. Now what I have to do, guys, is start working on my kitchen. So I'm going to put it over in this corner, similar to how the living room was. I'm going to place some tiles just down here. Kitchen tiles at that. And I'm going to make an absolutely huge kitchen counter. Let me just find them really quickly. Um, what could I search? Countertop? Maybe something like this will do. I'll get an orange one and also get these ones with the cabinets inside. This way, I can make it look like this, and I can add some cabinets with some storage inside. I'll fill in these empty gaps with some concrete blocks like that. Doesn't this look amazing? This is like a really cool orange kitchen and a really cool fire-themed living room. Now, all that's left for me to do is maybe just separate the living room up a little bit by adding some walls. That looks nice. Now, I'll do the same for the kitchen too, because I'm going to want the cooking area on one side and the cooler area on the other. This is where I'm going to cool my food. Louie, how are you going to cool your food in a fire-themed base? Uh, well, um, oh, Pip has got me there. Uh, well, Pip, I'll think about it, okay? I'll think about it. Yeah, Louie, you don't even know what you're gonna do. That's why you're gonna lose. Oh, Pip, just uh, shush, okay, shush. My base is going to be incredible. Just you wait. Oh, Louie, if the day ever comes, I'll eat my pea ice cubes if I really have to. Wait a second. Did you just say you would eat some of your pea ice cubes? Guys, if we win this build challenge, we're going to make Pip have to eat their own pea. This is going to be incredible. Well, that's not really a challenge. I, I, I enjoy doing that. Ew! Oh, no. Well, you know, sometimes it's really fizzy, just like lemonade. Ew! Oh, just oh, stop talking, Pip. Stop talking. Keep working on your kitchen, please. Remember, Louie, reuse and recycle. Reuse and recycle? Oh, guys, I think Pip has lost their mind. Well, you know what I'm going to do, guys? In between these cabinets, I'm going to fill it in with bricks. This way, it looks like it's being held up in arches. And I'm also going to see if I can put some bowls of some food onto my table. I'll make sure to get some apples, too, because I know JJ loves them. I'll get some of these fish bowls. Don't they just look really yummy? And there we go, guys. I think my kitchen is finally complete. But now what I'm going to go ahead and do is work on my cooler room. How am I gonna do this without making my base look like Pips? It's going to make JJ really sad if I put ice in here. Oh, Louis, a good thing about having an ice house is that I can have a cooler room. Can you have a cooler room, Louis? Uh, well, no. But I have a good idea, actually. I just came up with this on the spot. I can get a fridge. This is a refrigerator. I can open the bottom and the top, and it keeps my food nice and cold without it looking too out of place or icy like your base, Pip. Oh, well, someday I know you're going to have to put ice inside of your base. Oh, no, I'm not, Pip. I refuse to ever put ice near my base, and I don't think I'm ever going to let you put fire even near your base either. Of course I don't want fire near my base. I don't want my base to melt, of course. Course. That's up to you, Pip. But for me, even if I put ice in here, it wouldn't even make a scratch because my base is so much more strong. But anyways, I'm going to use the Wand of Symmetry now. And I'm going to build on a roof for this kitchen. This way, I can have an upstairs floor ready to build whenever I need it. I think I'm going to build the staircase in the middle here. And once they get to the top of the staircase, I'm going to build their bedrooms. Oh, Louis, I already started on my bedroom. You're never going to win at this. This rate, Louie. What? Oh, no, 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 guys. I cannot lose to Pip. All right, that's it. I'm taking matters into my own hands. I'm using the Wand of Symmetry inside my base to build it faster. I'm going to take these brick path stairs and I'm going to build them on opposite sides going up to the top floor. This way, I have two entrances to the upstairs rooms inside of my base. That was a perfect fit. Now it's time to work on the upstairs area. And now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to keep the stairs going
going up so I can get out to my balcony and shoot from here is place some blocks going over like this. These rooms are going to be where all of the family sleeps. JJ and his family are going to sleep in this area while I am going to sleep in this area. And also, I'm going to store all of my armor and weapons in this room. Just to make this faster, I'm going to make sure I've got my wand of symmetry ready and I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to add doors on both sides like this. I'm going to make sure that the bedrooms are really large. And I'm also going to make sure that they're accessible from both sides. This way, in case any mobs get inside, I can either run up this staircase inside or that one. Now, so that I can see how the families are doing, I'm going to have two big windows made out of orange stained glass and red stained glass. Like this! And as you can see, I'm going to set it up to look like fire. Like this. And I'm going to fill in the rest with orange stained glass. As you can see now, guys, the windows to both of the rooms look like they have flames inside of them. It's really cool. But now I have to fill in the floor for both of the rooms to make sure that my base cannot blow up. I'm going to build it out of netherite blocks. These are going to be extremely strong to use as a floor material and will never wear down. I wonder what Pip is using as a floor material. Maybe I should go over and check. Yeah, Louie, you should totally come over to my base and I'll give you a tour. It's way better than your house. All right, well, you you said I wasn't allowed entry inside, so you're going to have to take that back for a moment just to let me inside. Oh, come on, Louis. As long as you're not gonna burn down my house, you're welcome inside. Okay, fine. Well, let me get in here really quickly and... Uh-oh. Oh, Pip. Pip, I I'm feeling something coming. Wait, uh, are you farting, Louis? Do, oh, do you need to go to the bathroom? Oh, I think I'm gonna... <gasps> half of my base. Uh, oh, sorry, Pip. I, I just couldn't control my firepowers for some reason. That felt really weird, guys. It's like my firepowers are getting out of control. Oh, you're gonna pay for those damages, but let's continue the tour. All right. Sure thing, Pip. Show me around. I want to see what you've got going on here. So here's the kitchen. You know, we got the toaster, the refrigerator, the microwave. Okay, I'm liking this so far, but wait a second, Pip. What is this? Why do your tabs have cold and hot water. I thought your base was just supposed to be cold, not hot. Oh, no, it, it is. It's it just the, the hot water doesn't work. Mm. Only the cold water works. Okay, I'll believe you just this once. But why do you have a toaster as well? Don't you know that toasters have really hot wires inside? That's how they cook the food inside. Uh, 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 what toaster? Oh my gosh, you totally just got rid of that so I wouldn't notice. Um, no, I didn't, Louie. Uh, anyways, let, let's go check out the bedroom. All right, let's see. I am slipping around everywhere. The floor is so slippery. Well, that's what you have to deal with when you live in an ice house, Louie. Oh, I guess ice elementals have it rough. But what is this? Why are the beds in the middle of the rooms and not put against the walls? Well, because I don't want Mikey's family freezing on the wall, so I put it in the middle. Oh, that makes sense. But that is a terrible thing to have. I just realized since you're in an ice house, the wall might just melt and leak all over your beds and you'll have wet bed sheets. Well, at least they'll have bed sheets. In your house, the bed sheets would just become dust. Uh, no, they wouldn't because I add fireproof bed sheets. Anyways, guys, I have not put beds in my house yet. I have to lie to Pip. Uh, but anyways, Pip, let's just uh, look around the rest of your base. Is that it? Louis, let me show you my favorite room in the house. Okay, let's see in here and wait. Oh, no. Is that a mirror, Pip? Oh, no! Stop kissing yourself with a mirror! You know what? This time, I'm not leaving. I'm I'm adamant about this. Oh, you want to join me? No, I'm not leaving. I come on, come on! Nope, I'm leaving now. I'm leaving. You got me there, Pip. I really don't want to intrude on your um, mirror kissing business. Anyways, I'm going back to my side. All right, guys. Now that I'm back... I need to start working on these bedrooms. So let me just rotate my wand of symmetry. Actually, I just realized I don't need the wand of symmetry for this just yet because both of the rooms are going to be completely different. I'm going to have to start on JJ's family's bedroom. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out my inventory really quickly. This way I can choose what blocks I want a lot better. And I'm going to choose a few nether themed blocks like these crimson and these warped woods. I'm going to get some 
bookshelves. This is so that JJ can read. And I'm also going to get some glowstone. I need to make sure this looks just like the nether. I'll also get some redstone lamps so I can make some really cool light. And there we go. That looks amazing so far. Let's start on some decorations now. So for JJ's family's bedroom, I'm going to go ahead and split it into three. One for JJ's little brother, one for JJ's mom, and one for JJ. So what I'm going to do is just quickly split up this room into multiple sections. Let's do this and split up this wall with these crimson woods. Then I'm going to add some space for doors just around the outside like this. I'm going to make sure that the doors are nice and large so that we can walk through them nicely. This is so that JJ's family can see each other whenever they want. All right, but now that I've done that, it's time for me to start on the rooms. What I'm going to start with is a nice line of redstone lamps. This will be at the top of JJ's room. I know that JJ loves direct lighting in his room. So I'm going to turn those on and then fill in the roof with these warped blanks. This room looks so much like the nether, guys. What do you think? If you're enjoying this house so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel. All right, let's keep filling in this roof area. And there we go. The roof and the lights are complete. But now it's time for JJ's computer setup because JJ is a YouTuber too. JJ is a part of Maze, which means he's going to be recording on his computer a lot, especially when he's making his videos. So let's make a computer setup. I put the monitor and the keyboard there and the PC there. I'm going to put a bunch of books on the side as well so that JJ can read up on all the knowledge he needs to become a YouTube professional, just like me. I'm also going to get some red wool from my inventory and create a red platform like this. This is kind of like a red carpet for JJ because he is famous. But now it's time to work on JJ's mom's room. She's going to have a much larger room because she's much older than JJ. And I'm also going to go ahead and put some redstone lamps on the side because I know that JJ's mom loves lights too. Because JJ's mom is a lady, she's going to need a very big mirror to do her makeup in the morning. So I'm going to get this massive mirror. Don't tell Pip about this mirror, guys. I don't want their beak stains all over this mirror. Now all I need to do is just add a stool and also add a table, which I'm getting right now. This way, there's tons of space to store makeup and all sorts of other material. I know that JJ's JJ's mom absolutely loves to cook donuts and pizzas and all that kind of crazy stuff. So I'm also going to put some kitchen utensils in her room. But that reminds me, what is a bedroom without beds? So I'm going to put one bed right here for JJ's mom. I'm going to put the bed in the corner for JJ. And for JJ's little brother, I'm pretty sure kids don't really need beds, especially like babies. They could just sleep in a crib on the floor. So I'm going to get some walls, and this is what is going to contain JJ's little brother. And just in case, I'll give JJ's little brother a mirror as well, just so they can look at themselves and see how their life is going. I'm also going to go ahead and put some really cool lights in this room just for JJ's little brother, because I know that he is a very, very needy individual. I'm going to put some lights above as well, because as you know, babies for some reason love flickering lights. I don't know why. Don't ask me. But now all I have to do is just fill in these roof areas, and I have completed their bedrooms. All right, and there is the roof of all of my rooms done. Guys, what do you think? Would you sleep in these bedrooms? I really hope you would. But now that I've completed the bedrooms, I kind of wonder what Pip's up to. I haven't heard from them in a while. All right, guys, here we go. I'm going over to Pip's base right now. Hey, Pip, how's it going? Hey, Louie, I'm just watching some TV. Oh, I just thought I'd drop by and take a look at your base. Um, is there anything else you can show me? Wait, I just finished my bedrooms. Do you want to show me yours? Maybe you've added some more while I've been gone. Yeah, I've added some stuff. I added some chests. Okay. I added a TV. Ooh. I added some chickens. See, look at all these chickens over here. All right, and um, Pip, what is this supposed to be? Oh, this is my pee hole from when I'm watching TV and I don't want to go to the bathroom. Your pee hole? Are you telling me that you pee from all the way over here? Louis, it's way closer than the actual bathroom. I just take two steps and go... Oh my gosh, Pip. I really hope that this is not where your pee ice cubes come from. Of, of course it is. Oh no! 
Oh, please How tell else me. do you think I make him? I don't want to know, Pip. Uh, but anyways, uh, what have you added to your bedrooms while I've been gone? Oh, I added a little TV and I added a painting. Um, Pip, I'm pretty sure that your TV is broken. It seems to be all staticky and it's not even plugged into the wall. Even if it could oh. be, though, it would not work because all of this ice would just turn into water. Oh, why did this TV work then? I do not know, Pip. Maybe it's because you plugged it into the glass instead of the ice. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. You did go to engineering school after all, didn't you? Yep, engineering school, redstone school, building school. You name it, I've been there. Louis, I'm tired of you flexing all the time you spent in school. Just get out of here. Oh, whoa! Pip was being really mean just then, guys. But it's fine. We can just finish off our base now. I think we only have to do my armory room and then we can start building some traps around this thing to stop the mob army from killing us. My armory doesn't have to be incredible because at the end of the day, I'm an elemental! Which means I'm already really strong as it is. But I realize now that I'm not wearing any boots or any helmet. So I'm going to get some netherite armor like this. All I need is boots and a helmet so I can just put them on and I am decked out really, really strong. All I'm going to do is just fill in some chests in my armory room. Let me just get the chests first. I'm going to color code everything. I'm going to have some red chests for some fiery stuff. I'll have some orange chests for some armor. And I'll have some yellow chests for some golden apples. Let's just put the red ones here. I'll put the orange ones here. And I'll put the yellow ones right there. Now I just need to build up a ton of chests like this. And since I have all these elemental items, I can copy and paste them across like this. And I can make my chests full of them. This means if Pip really wants to try my fire abilities, they can. But now what I'm going to do is fill up one of these chests full of these gas cannons. As you can see, when I shoot them, it shoots a massive fire charge at the enemies. The only drawback is it works off of fire charges. So I'll fill in a ton of these chests with fire charges like this. This way, I'll have a ton of ammo ready to fire whenever I want. Now for my final chests, I'm just going to fill them up with some enchanted golden apples because they are the strongest and best golden apples in the game. There we go, guys. I'm really happy with my armory room. And what is happening behind me? Uh, Pip, why Take are you throwing snowballs? snowballs? <laughs> I'm throwing snowballs to put out your horrible looking fire base. Oh, oh no, Pip, stop. Oh, you know what? I think you deserve this. Let me just go into here. Deserve what? And get a guest cannon and then go. Get a what? Oh. No. Boom. Now your base is covered Stop, in Stop. flames! Yeah, that's right. Your puny snowballs have nothing against my really super strong gas cannon! Holy You've gone too far. No, Pip. There's no such thing as going too far. When your life is on the line, why are you trying to ruin my base? If you do, those mobs will kill me instantly! Good, Louie. You deserve that. Or whatever, Pip. I'm going to work on the rest of this roof on my base. And then I can start on my traps to keep all of the mobs out. And hopefully you, you ugly little duckling. Oh, why'd you call me that, Louis? That was so mean. You deserve it. But anyways, guys, I'm going to fill in the rest of this roof with these wooden planks just like this. And I'm also using my wand of symmetry, as you can see by that mirror down there. This way, I can build up this roof to look amazing. And once I'm done, it'll be the best house ever on both sides as well. What do you think, guys? Doesn't this thing look awesome? I'll just fly around really quickly to let you see it. All right, so now that my base is completely completed, we can start adding some traps. So what I'm going to do is very sneakily use commands. Oh, no, Pip is watching. Let me just hide behind this pillar and just go over here. And then I'll set the ground to lava. Now I'm going to add a lava moat going around my entire base. If you guys don't know me already, I absolutely love lava moats. They are the best line of defense against mobs. Louis, why do I smell lava? And wait, 
How did you uh, place all of this lava so quickly? Oh, no, guys. Uh, let me get rid of this axe. Um, I didn't do anything, Pip. I'm just a fire elemental at the end of the day. I can place as much fire as I want to, oh. especially lava. You know, Louie, lava isn't even that great of a trap. I have a better trap. Uh, what is that? No, no, no. Are you putting pee in my lava moat? <laughs> Pip, get out of here. Fine, fine. Oh, you completely defaced to my base. That means make it completely ugly. But now, guys, I just realized something. That lava moat only protects around the outside. And when mobs come to my base, they're going to go all the way over here and just eat JJ's family. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is make a pitfall trap. And I'm going to make it fall directly into some lava. All I have to do is dig a very deep hole and add some lava to the inside. Now, I just need to get some sticky pistons. And and I'll place them right here underneath the ground so that they're impossible to see. Now, I'll get some redstone dust and put it over the top of these red blocks. You can barely see it. It's just right there. This means that any mobs that try to attack will not be able to see. And then all I have to do is just move the redstone all the way over to my front door and then get a lever and then switch it on. Now, if I go ahead and add some pistons on the other side, they will already be on and ready to go. Then I'll go ahead and add some magma blocks to do some extra damage to the mobs coming through. And all I have to do is uncheck this button and it opens up. The mobs will fall into this lava pit, killing them instantly. But I just realized something, guys. Those mobs will be able to sneak around these walls if they're very careful. So what I'm going to have to do is instead of putting walls here, I'm going to have to put some very tall full block walls like this. This way, the blocks cover all of the blocks underneath, meaning you can't just shimmy through. And there we go. We now have a functioning pitfall trap. Now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to add some dispensers on the outside of my base. This is going to stop any mobs that are walking down this pathway. I'll go ahead and add them on top of my walls like little sentry turrets. And what do I want to fill them with? Maybe fire charges? No, that would melt Pip's base. I don't want to be too mean. I think I've got an idea. I'll fill them up with arrows. This way, they'll still do some damage and they won't completely destroy Pip's base. Now, I'll just replace these dispensers with full ones. And now all I have to do is just hook them up and put them where I want them. So I'll just hook up this entire area here with some redstone and I'm going to do something absolutely awesome, guys. Watch this. I'm going to get an item called a redstone link. As you can see, it looks like a little strange device like this. All I have to do now is put some arrows inside and set it so that it receives a signal. You can tell it's receiving by the fact that it has a white ring around it. Now, I just have to take this link and put it where I want it. And I'm thinking it would be best to use it on this balcony. I think I'll get rid of these walls. Now, I'm going to set up a control panel on the roof here. I'm going to get a lever and then I'm going to connect the redstone link to the lever. Now, when I press it, it should shoot some arrows. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, boom. That is awesome, guys. Now, if I want to do the same thing and protect from mobs on maybe this side, I can go ahead and do it by filling up these dispensers on the side, hooking them up the exact same way with these logs, covering them with redstone, and then straight away, putting a redstone link behind them and setting it to receive the signal. Easy as that, guys. Now, if I press this lever, it will also shoot arrows on the other side too, as you can see. Louis, your traps may be fancy looking, but mine are simple and efficient. What do you mean, simple and efficient? You've just got a water moat around your base. Nothing fancy. Oh, not just any water moat. A shark infested water moat. Wait a second. I did not even realize those sharks. And look at that one. It's eating his friend. Your sharks are ruthless. This might actually be a really strong trap, Pip. Thanks, Louis. And if the monsters don't die to the sharks, they might might die to my pee. Ew! You know, I think your base is going to be way too stinky. I don't think any mobs are going to want to come in here. And if they get past both of those, they also have the lasers. I just thought about something, Pip. If your base is covered in pee and sharks and lasers, 
Oh, why would Mikey even want to go inside? Mikey's probably trembling in fear over here. Just look at him, Pip. He's shivering in his boots. Um, no, he's not, Louie. He's dancing. He's so excited to go into my face. I really don't see that as an excited dance. Do you guys dance like this when you're excited? Comment down below. I dance like that all the time, Louie. What's wrong with it? Well, I'll show you, Pip. This is what a real dance looks like. Just watch this. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. You like this dance? Look at this dance, Pip. Boom, 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 boom. Louie, I have never seen such horrible dancing. What? You know what? If that dance move wasn't good enough, let me show you something else. A backflip! Oh, yeah. I'm just a backflip master. Oh, Louie, I'm throwing this tomato at you. Ew! You're throwing tomatoes at me? Isn't that what people do when they don't like things? Yep. <gasps> Pip, you're gonna make me cry. Good, Louie, because if you cry, maybe your firehouse will be put out. Arr, that's so annoying. Why do you always have the best comebacks to every argument I have? You know what? I'm just going to prove that my base is better. I'm going back to build my tree. And they're going to be so OP, you're going to cry. Oh, yeah? Well, at least I'm not going to be jealous like uh, you I'm because of jealous. my sharks. I'm not jealous. You know what? I'll show you jealous. Oh, uh, what are you going to show me? I'm actually going to go ahead and put down my guard dog for my base. This is way better than your sharks, guard by the dog. way. Oh. What? What even is that? That is a netherite monstrosity. One of the strongest mobs ever to exist in Minecraft. And this is going to be protecting my base like an iron golem. How much health does this thing have? It has a heck of a lot of health. I just woke and it, it up. it just woke up. As you can see, he's kind of chill. He just stands and looks at people. But when the mobs come, he's going to be really, really angry. How much health does this guy even have? I'm punching him and I'm doing zero damage to him. Yep, look at this. I have my insane sword, right? If I punch him, look how much damage it does. That is the strongest sword that's ever existed in Minecraft. And it does that much damage. It does no damage to him. Let me even try oh and use my, my special ability on him. Are you ready? It, I doubt it'll even do any damage. Let's see how much damage that does. Barely any! Wait, let me try to use my special gun. Well, your little water pistol? What's it gonna do? It just bounces off of him! <laughs> oh, well, Louis, if that doesn't work, maybe snowballs will. Wait, whoa! Oh, okay, snowballs actually um... work better than your gun! Maybe ice crystal freeze! Wait, you, you actually froze him! Oh, Is he going to unfreeze? It uh, no, he just oh. melted through your ice crystal. That did nothing. Come on. He freezes and, and frozen. then he unfreezes because he's made of oh. fire, Pip. You should know this by now. Well, Louis, I'm kind of feeling jealous of your guard dog now. Yep, that is just what having fire powers gets you. Really, really strong, tough guard pets. Well, Louis, if you're allowed to have a guard dog, then I'll have one too. Oh, oh no. There's a frost moss. <laughs> and it's woken up. That thing is really dangerous. Dangerous. I hope my netherite monstrosity doesn't try to attack it. It would be a war of the titans. And wait, your frostmall looks really weak, by the way. He's just walking in circles. He's going kind of cuckoo. He's hungry for blood, Louis. I'll show you hungry for blood. Let's see how easily I can kill him with my little sword. Oh, you can't kill him. He's probably going to take so much damage. Look at that. He's pretty much dead. He's pretty much dead. No, he's not, Louis. What? Monsters don't have that sword. All so right. He'll be fine. All right, Pip. Well, watch this. Okay, he is actually kind of strong. Yeah, Louie. And those monsters definitely don't have those little Iron Man powers. Oh, well, whatever. Iron Man powers are really strong. And when those mobs come, you're going to be the one who's crying about it when you're stuck getting attacked by all of the mobs while I'm all safe in my base. Well, Louis, I'm gonna go finish working on my base. And when that sun goes down, we'll work on fighting the mobs together. All right, Pip, sounds like a good idea, but I don't know if I want to fight with you. I might just let Mikey and his family die in there while I keep JJ and his family nice and safe in here. 
Oh, Louis, you'll regret that, you know. My ice power is actually really useful. I don't think so, Pip. I've seen what that little water gun pistol does. It does nothing. But now, guys, it's time to complete one more trap. And I think I've got a really good idea. I'm going to make this stem come all the way off this wall like this. And I'm going to make it 3D like that. So it comes off of my base and out like that. Now, from here, I'm going to get some dispensers like this. And I'm going to put some holes in the ground. You'll see why in a second. Now, I'm going to cover it with redstone dust, and I'm going to fill it with lava buckets. Like the video, guys, if you know what I'm doing. Now, guys, I just need to put the redstone down, and it should activate all of these. And when I activate it again, it should suck up all the lava and make it go down. I just need to make sure that every single dispenser has lava buckets inside, or else it won't work properly. I also need to make this hole a little bit bigger, because because it seems like the lava just leaks down in unpredictable ways. So I'm going to break a few blocks like this, just so that this lava has a place to land. Now, when I press this button, it should shoot some lava out and cover the entrance so no mobs can get inside. And then once it goes down and I need to get inside, all I have to do is press the button again, and it will close it. And it will open the door all nice and wide for me to walk in. Um, Louis, the moon's coming out. We don't have much time. Can we move Mikey's family into my house now? Of course we can, Pip. Once the moon comes fully up, those monsters are going to come out of that portal and attack us. Let's get Mikey inside. Come on, Mikey! Stop dancing, Mikey! Okay, Pip. Mikey's family is now safe inside of your ice house. House. Do you think they're going to make it? Of course they will, Louie. My house is super safe. All right, well, we have to really hope it is. Because have you seen how dark it is outside now? The moon has risen all the way. It's time to fight some mobs. Do you see anything? Oh, it is so dark outside. But where are those mobs at? Come on, Pip. Let's go to your rooftop and take a look. All right, Pip. Take a look around. Do you see anything? Um, Louie, look outside. Oh, no. There's a bunch of fire enemies and a bunch of ice soldiers. They are villagers, but they have ice powers just like you, Pip. I mean, maybe we should just go outside and fight them. I mean, we're in creative mode after all. All right. Actually, that seems like a really good idea. Come on, let's go outside. Boom. Now. Oh, no. Wait, Pip. I just opened the door, Louis? and it seems like we just got put into survival mode. Oh, no, those mobs are really starting to build up. That is a massive army. You know what? I think all we can really do is just fight them. Come on. Let's get him. Get over here, you stinky mobs. I'm going to hit you with the strongest attack known to man. Boom. I hope that did anything. And Wait. Pip, that did absolutely nothing. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, Pip, this is terrible. My fire weapons have absolutely no chance against these fire mobs. Because they are made of fire, that means that my fire attacks do nothing to them. There's just so many of them. Oh, Louis, I'm struggling with these villager mobs. Maybe we should switch mobs. After all, fire is good against ice, and ice is good against fire. You are completely right, Pip. I think I should start going for those ice villagers. Let's go, come on! All right, I'm going to go for some of these ice villagers. Let me just charge up an attack, and boom! Pip, I'm going to kill some of these ice villagers and... Whoa! I cut through them like butter! You know what? Pip, come inside of my base and we can get geared up with some really cool loot. And we can I'm also coming, kill I'm them coming. with some good traps. Come on, Pip, hurry up! Be careful when you come in. JJ's ah! entire family is in here. Be careful! Come on, Pip. Let's go upstairs and get suited up with some really strong weapons and armor. I'm going to make sure I get a ton of fire charges. This way, I can shoot my gas cannon weapon like that. This way, I should be able to shoot out these fire enemies from a distance, too. I'm doing a ton of damage. What about you, Pip? Wait, maybe you could freeze these fire enemies over here for me. Wait, Louie, that's a good idea. L let's try to freeze them. All right, go ahead, Pip. You have to make sure they're in your line of sight. Go ahead, Pip. Freeze them. Um, is it doing Ow. anything? Freeze them, and I will burn them. Boom. Wait, this is actually really strong. We seem to be doing a lot of damage, but they're climbing in through the top of my house. Oh, Louis, this is really bad, but we can fight them off. I know it. All right, Pip. Just freeze them. Fully freeze them. Freeze. And boom. It seems you've frozen a couple of them. 
Now I can finish them off with my flames. I'm going to use this void weapon to shoot some of these really cool purple spikes at them. Boom. As you can see, it did a bit of damage, but these guys are really strong. Well, Luis, these fire enemies are a lot stronger than the ice ones. I know, Pip. That's because being a fire elemental is so much better than being an ice elemental. You should know this by now. Oh, Louis, but I still refuse to admit that my base is worse than yours. You know what, Pip? Let's put your base to the test, then. Let's go into your base and see whether it can survive. Follow me! Let's do it! Go, 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 hurry, hurry! Go, 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 hurry, hurry! There's so many! Run, run, run! Ah! There's, there's like barely any of those ice guys left! We are just left fighting against all of these enemies! Go, 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 go! Get inside of your base, Pip! Come on! Oh, wait a second! What's happening, Pip? Louis! It seems like a bunch of water just came from the ceiling! It seems like those fire enemies being nearby is making your base melt! My house! It's melting! Oh, this is terrible! I told you this was a bad idea, and look! Mikey's entire family is struggling to stay afloat in all of the water! We need to move them to my base, and fast! Oh, fine, Louis. I admit my base is worse than yours. It's leaking everywhere. Come on, Louis. We gotta get Mikey's family to your base. Stand! All right, sounds good, Pip. Let's just tell them we need to go! Mikey, you need to come with me right now. No, stop jumping with joy! This base is a really bad idea! You need to come with me now. And there we go, Pip! We managed to get Mikey, Mikey's little brother, and Mikey's sister into my base. And now, they are a lot safer than they would have been inside of your base. Oh, Louis, I'm super sorry that I said fire was a bad element. Oh, don't you worry, Pip. I think our elements complement each other very well. I wouldn't have been able to defeat those fire mobs without you, and you wouldn't have been able to defeat those ice mobs without me. Yes, you're right, Louis. But at least Mikey and JJ's family is all right now. You are correct, Pip. And now they will be safe for the rest of the night. This base is the best. Let's go. Let's go. Wow.